Brian with King Grizzly. Today we're looking at the updated Elementor form widget. They added uh, what they call steps, which is a really neat feature. You can break your forms down into progressive steps and make them feel much more uh, user-friendly, uh, easy. Right off the top, they don't have conditional logic. So I'm going to go ahead and put a form in there. So for those of you hoping, uh, like me, that you know maybe there'd be a way that Depending on someone's answer on one question, it could change the, you know, what the next questions are or the fields are. That's not an option at this point. Um, maybe down the road, I don't know if they're considering that or not. But regardless, the steps are really neat for different reasons for collecting information, especially breaking down a large form. Um, for those of us who've tried type form, um, you can kind of create a similar effect where it's sort of like one question at a time sort of thing. So I'll show you how to to break a, a form into multi-step. So I went ahead to the widgets and pulled the form on. So now let's click on our form and see how we can break it into steps. So we've got fields we recognize, right? Name, email, message. Um, we can break those up into steps by adding an item and the item is step. So when I add one, it automatically is going to add one right up front styling here is a little funny um, but item one and then the one I just added they're calling item five but they're really just steps so I can label them whatever I want um, let's see I'll, first thing we need to do is drag this step above the fields you want to break up so like if I want name and email to be separated I need steps in between them and as you can see on the right it starts to reflect that and I can label these steps so I'm going to click on that first one that was auto-generated call it, you know, name, yeah, your name, that styling is horrible, we can address that, um, there's a previous and next button, so what these let us do is actually change the text on the button below, so if I, instead of saying next, I could, you know, put something else, go, and you can see over here, it, it's changing what the button says, or we can just leave the defaults and in fact we can actually go down to the buttons tab and there's a next and previous that would be like a global I think uh, I guess it can be overridden on a case by case oh actually here we go okay. so yeah we could you could set it here globally if you don't like next and previous um, and then down here in the step settings this is a new tab you can change Number and text, progress bar, just number only. I kind of like that. So you got some options here. It can change the shape of those. So you can see if I click next, it shows me the next set of questions. I can click previous. I can go to style and under style now. I should be able to do some work here with the steps. You see that? So we've got uh, typography, spacing, color secondary color I could look into that maybe I don't want a background there on that and this is you can see this is for the inactive step and then we have active step if I click on that so maybe I want that highlighted in some way right now it's got a white background so maybe I want to play with the color of that text Divider width, divider gap. It's this little line here in between the two. And then complete it. So if we break this up into, say, three steps, I need to make this a step. There we go. Um, then we'd have the completed. So if I put in my name, I don't know if I can do that in the preview next you can see that now I'm on number two my styling's horrible uh, but if I go back to styling steps I'm on number two so that's actually what I made the, the active look like that's not obvious enough so let's just say for some reason I wanted it to be blue um, and then completed you know, by default they go to like a green um, so I could choose whether or not I want to do something like green. Yeah. 
yeah anyway i think people get the gist so it's kind of cool the way you can break things up um, you can then style your fields to make it feel um i like i like i would probably hide the name label here where is it at it's a little confusing okay i might hide my label name there just go with a really big placeholder and then i go to styling and i probably on my fields make sure that i have plenty of padding large fonts so maybe i, I go to like a, a really big form input there could choose a fun color could potentially choose an interesting background color or just a border or something if you want to get really stylish so like i could make my background a little less pronounced maybe make the text white or something like that it's funny when it's inactive it it dims it down um so anyway just playing with that playing with the width of the border you could probably get a nice feel here that makes this step-by-step -step experience feel nice but now i'm getting in the weeds um, hopefully that helps people understand the way steps work and they still would submit in the same way so when you you want to set up the submission you go back over to content and you can choose your actions after submit do you want to email someone do you want to connect to mailchimp what do you want to happen with the data from the form and then you can kind of control you know what email is it going to go to what kind of metadata do you want to collect so as far as i know that's that's generally how steps work. Curious to see what other people learn. Like I said, it's a brand new feature, um, but it looks it looks pretty handy. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think, and please consider subscribing to our channel as we'll keep rolling out more WordPress, Elementor, and digital marketing content. Thanks.